Okay, the next website I'm going to show you how to upload a video from is from Flickr. So again, I'm on my desktop. I have my picture uploaded on my computer, ready to go on my desktop. You can have it anywhere on your computer, but I choose the desktop because it makes it easier for the video. Now, I'm on Flickr right now, and I love me some Flickr because Flickr allows you to put up a lot of pictures, and um, the limits aren't too high, and it's kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Upload Photos and Video. Now, once I do that, it's going to ask me to step one, choose the photos and video. And by clicking on that, it will always open up a dialog box. I will choose my image here. And again, with Windows 7 and most modern operating systems, it'll show you the dimensions and the size and the other information on it. I'll click on open. Now, I can choose my privacy settings here, visible to friends and family. We want to make sure that it's left public because the try5.com site will draw from the public domain. And then we'll click on upload videos and pictures. So let's do this. You can see it's uploading relatively quickly. Once it's done here, it's going to give me the ability to give it a title and to give it some data tags and some other information. So yes, I want to add a description. Click on add a description. Now I can add tags. So I'm going to paste in my information or I'll type it in if I want. 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. I've got it there. So I'm going to copy that data, control C, and I'm just going to paste it in over the description, the title, and the tags. Now within Flickr, you can actually choose a set or you can create a new set. I'm going to put this into the set. You can see I have a lot here, but I'm going to click on 56 Chevrolet Deleo 56. So I'm going to click on that. You could, of course, save it to anywhere within your Flickr account. It doesn't really matter as long as you remember where you're going to find it. And then I'll click on Save. Now you can see here I have a lot of other pictures, including some other tests that I've done. Now once that I have it within Flickr, I click on the link. Now this gives me the basic picture size. You can see here it's, it's relatively large on the screen that I'm showing you, but it's going to be small on the website. To get to the next size, you route mouse click on it. That's again, that's a right mouse click, and it gives you medium 500. And again, this is the pixels or the DPI of the image. Medium 500, medium 640 large or original. So let's do this real quick. Let's look on medium is 500. You can see it's relatively small. I'm going to click back and forward as we go through these. Right mouse click on large. You can see large is getting here. And you can see once I go to the large size, it gives me the sizes across the top. And if I actually go to the original, you can see it's quite large. It actually goes to the full size of the picture. In fact, if I scroll down, you can see some of the imperfections in Deleo 56. So I'm going to click on back, and I'm going to choose for this one the large image. So I'm going to leave it on this link. Now you have two ways of doing this. You can right mouse click on the download and click on copy link address, or you can right mouse click on the picture and click on copy image URL. What this is doing is this is copying the actual link of the picture. So let me show you this. Let me right mouse click and copy link address. If I were to just paste in this link address into the browser, you can see here it says farm8.staticflicker.com. Blah, blah, blah. If I were to do that, it actually would just bring up the image itself. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again right mouse click and copy the link address. Now, I'm going to go back to try5.com. You can see I can click on post reply. I'm going to click on post reply. I'm going to say this is a test. Now I'm going to insert the image. Now if you just copy and paste in here, you can see it doesn't include the image tags. And those are the ones that we need. So I do not want to do it that way. What I want to do is go to the insert image icon. And I want to either right mouse click and paste. Or I want to control V and paste. So once I do that, it has to start with image and end with image with a slash. When I'm done, and I can add in more text or more pictures or more links or whatever I want to do, you can always enter in more information, I will click on Submit Reply. Once that I've done that, it'll post, and you can see now that it has a picture of everything that I have. So again, that's all you need to do is just copy that picture link into your post as you've been shown, and it will show up. And again, you can see here that we have the 600 sizes and some of the smaller sizes. People have those typically in their, their signature lines. But you can definitely do larger images than uh, what are available here. Again, try5.com is limited to the 600 by 600 size. But if you use Photobucket or similar sites like uh, Flickr, 
uh, you can definitely get larger images uh, with a little bit more detail, especially for manual pages, for uh, detailed shots of your engine or from other things like that. It's definitely worth it to learn how to do it. So thank you much. Again, Deleo56 at try5.com. Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.